morning and welcome to Love Every Moment, coming to you today from San Miguel, California. Well, today's verse is Matthew 5.14, which says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Well, what a beautiful verse this is, a very inspiring and uplifting verse, the kind you would put on a plaque. You are the light of the world. Makes you feel pretty nice. But uh, remember, that light doesn't exactly come from our own human efforts. Jesus says he is the light of the world. So which is it? Is it him or is it us? Well, let's look at the reference. That's John 8:12. Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. And that's pretty authoritative. He is the light of the world. Jesus is. But let's continue reading. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. So he is the light. He is the source of the light, but we get to reflect that light when we're plugged into Him. So it goes back to what I've been saying. When we fall so deeply crazy in love with Jesus, that He can have it all, that we love Him more than anyone else or anything else, then He gives us His desires. We get totally new desires, desires to love people, desires to treat them kindly, and uh his words will be our words. His actions will be our actions. His desires, our desires. We will be essentially little Christs walking around. That's essentially what a Christian is, is a little Christ. We're examples of him. So, uh, this is the greatest privilege I see, that we get to be his examples in the world. Back to our verse, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Just last week, I was driving down San Simeon, California, and I saw Hearst Castle up on the hill. Don't know if you've ever seen that, but it was beautiful, very attractive. And I couldn't hardly take my eyes off of it because it was so gorgeous up there. And I had trouble keeping my eyes on the road, and I hate to admit that. But uh, yes, it was attractive. A city that is set on a hill is like that. That's what we're like when we're reflecting that love. It's very, very attractive and very obvious. It just grabs your attention. Continuing in our verse... Matthew fifteen or five fifteen, nor does anyone light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. So again, it's a really obvious thing. You can't hide it when you've got his love coming out. Now I haven't described yet how I became a Christian. Well, I was thirteen. And I was just this pukey kid. I was the kid that picked his nose and ate his boogers. No kidding. I was very socially awkward and uh, not a popular kid by any imagination. Uh, I was very self-absorbed. I was a wretch, and I still am. And uh, I went to this high school retreat, Christian retreat, and suddenly there's all these teenagers here. Normally I'm used to teenagers making fun of me, shunning me, uh, bullying me. But here were a bunch of teenagers who were loving me and loving me even with all my faults. They didn't mind the social awkwardness. They didn't mind uh, my self-absorption. They just loved me straight out. And it was that love and that light that was so attractive and made me say, wow, if this is what being a Christian is all about, I want in. So it wasn't anyone presenting a logical argument that brought me to Christ. It wasn't a threat of hell and being scared into the kingdom. It wasn't any kind of tradition. I didn't even grow up a Christian, so I had no tradition to fall back on. It wasn't uh, anything other than flooding me with his love, where the fruits of the Spirit were out and invisible, and people were practicing, not that they were perfect, but they were practicing the Beatitudes of uh, being merciful and being meek and being peacemakers and all of that. And that was so attractive. It was love that brought me to Christ. And that's why if we love every moment, we're going to love every moment. I'm your average wretch, and I hope you have a good week.